What's going on guys? Taylor Nelson here with Nelson Design Group. And yes, I am back. Oh boy, it's good to be back. So today, actually this week, we're celebrating Father's Day. So for every dad out there, for every grandfather, actually every father figure, we are celebrating you this week. We wanna say thank you from the bottom of our hearts. Every single person here at Nelson Design Group wants to celebrate you. So this week we are checking out all things grilling in honor of all you fathers out there. And we're just gonna to happen to knock out two birds with one stone because today we're looking at the new kid on the block. So the design that we are looking at today is House Plan 1043 Tahoe Park. Let's look at this together. So this house plan has a total living space of 4,140 square feet, has five bedrooms, five and a half bathrooms, has an awesome, awesome three bay garage, and is two stories. Now this next bit of information is definitely gonna be important for someone out there. The total width of this home is 108 feet and two inches, and then the depth is 92 feet, four inches. So for anybody who's like, dude, this plan is amazing. It's perfect for my lot because it can fit, then you're welcome. So right off the bat, the blue that the designers chose for this exterior, oh my goodness, it is glorious. The way that they added the contrasting timber beams there, dude, it's perfect. Normally with farmhouses, we've seen three main colors. We've seen white, ivory and gray. And I really, really like how they stood out with this one because this home is unique, unique. So, I mean, come on, like I am in your corner completely supporting this one. Now, if this plan was built locally around here, I'd be scooping this thing up just like that. You know, early on when we started doing these videos, I was like, oh yeah, I'm European and rustic all the way, but golly, like <laughs> with this farmhouse right here, they're really starting to, to change my favorites up there. They, they, they really are. Now with this house plan being over 4,000 square feet, it is actually the younger brother. It is a derivative off of house plan 1036 that has over 6,000 square feet. So by the end of this video, if you're like, dude, sign me up. I want this one. Just, just letting you know, if you need more space, there's one that has an extra 2,000 square feet of space. So there, there's that. All right, so let's get into my top three favorite things about this home. Number one has gotta be the entry area and the foyer because when you have new guests over for the first time, when they see that, when they get the first glance, the first experience of your home, that is where it's at. I love the use of the timber columns on the front porch and with the foyer, I love how it gives you this sense of openness because you immediately have access to the dining room off to the right and then you've got the stairs leading above and then it goes directly into the living room. I just love the layout of homes that immediately give you the best of that home right when you step through the door. Which leads to my second favorite thing about this house, that's the great room. Come on, y'all, just spend three seconds and look at it. Okay, that's three seconds. Now, the great room kitchen area combination, it doesn't get much better than that, in my personal opinion, because I grew up at the lake. I love the whole open area, the whole cabin feel, and that right there, you got these timber beams across the top, and then the whole openness with the bar and the massive fireplace and the built-ins along the wall. I mean, I'm dreaming about it right now. I just love it when designers use the vaulted ceiling, timber beams at the same time because it just gives that whole Bass Pro Shop feel to it, and I, I, I really dig it, I do. All right, and so we're going to number three, which I said this whole week is about all things grilling, so let's check out the grilling porch. Look at this right here. Look at how massive this outdoor living space is. That's exactly what it is. It's, it's an outdoor living space. You could live in this space outdoors. It's huge. It's 35 feet wide by 20 feet deep. It's that big. This is bigger than my first apartment. So dads, come here, listen up. With this outdoor living space, you've got more than enough room for that hot tub. 
yeah, that hot tub, that guy that you've seen over there at the Sam's or the Costco, yeah, that one. All the patio furniture that your wife has saved from her, from her Pinterest board, yeah, it can go right there. And then to the right, you've got that outdoor uh, little kitchen area. And when I mean little, it's big. You've got space for two or three grills. You've got a whole area. If you want your hibachi grill, I've seen that before. If you want that there, it goes there. Oh, oh, oh. You've got also an area for an optional fireplace. Yeah, just to make it even more perfect. And then it's got access to the private screened in porch right off the master suite. Now, I could keep going. I've got like 12 more favorite things about this. Like, I mean, I could talk about the massive master closet, the incredible laundry room that has more than enough counter space, but I can't. I, I, I kind of got to close. So, <laughs> oh, and that amazing mud room. So anyways, that is house plan 1043 Tahoe Park. And if you would like more information on that plan, please visit our website, www.nelsondesigngroup.com. Or if you have any questions or you would just like to speak to me or not me, but somebody here, then it's 870-931-5777. Remember to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and please hit that little bell over there so that you can always be notified on all of our future videos. All right, guys, please enjoy the rest of your week. Talk to you soon. Bye.